Hey, welcome back to this mini lecture on helping kids cope with hardships part two using multiple intelligences. This is based on Howard Gardner's groundbreaking work on multiple intelligences. Uh, they may be a good foundation to provide coping strategies when supporting children consider strategies that touch on one or more intelligence. Uh, I'll, I'll deal with eight of them here. Visual spatial, have the kids work on hands-on art in various mediums, um, work on visual uh, interpretations or do some reading. In terms of linguistic uh, intelligence, have the child involved in written oral, oral journalism, poetry, songwriting, or letter writing, physical kinesthetic, have them do work on cardio, martial arts, dance. Musical, have the students create sounds or songs, play an instrument, make rhythms. Six, to have them do something logical like create mind maps, to conduct research, or do some problem solving. In terms of interpersonal intelligence, have them uh, be in groups doing discussions, peer groups, and connecting deep with others. Interpersonal, um, like within, have them engage in self-reflection, look inward to heal, and personal goal creation. Eight, naturalistic, uh, have them engage in nature walks, gardens, and ground with earthly elements. Various examples, I'll give more specific ones of Gardner's multiple intelligences. Each of these activities serves a different purpose towards the foci I discussed earlier. Physical, dance to fun music or jump rope, jump rope worries away. Linguistic and personal, color motions or create a mantra for coping. Three, musical, create sounds to express emotions. Four, in terms of logical and linguistic, write a social story with you in it and use it to, to problem solve. Five, interpersonal, talk it out or perform acts of kindness to connect to emotion. Six, interpersonal or naturalistic, mindful walk in nature. Uh, here's some other um, general points on multiple intelligence. Choose strategies based on child's innate preferences and specific needs in the moments. You might want to have them focus on uh, using multiple intelligences to help them release pent up anxieties, process emotions in the moment, confidence boost, ground themselves, uh, do things that are more interpersonal in nature, or enjoy work, working with their hands or being outside. Uh, listening to your child will help you meet them where they need to be met for their needs. That was Helping Kids Cope with Hardships, Part 2, Using Multiple Intelligences. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.